Hello, I'm Charles Benson. And I'm Shannon Sims. A violent night in Milwaukee. Three separate shootings within a half hour. One person is dead, four others injured. They all happened just before midnight. A man was killed in front of a home on West Reservoir. The other two shootings happened just minutes later. The victims are all expected to survive. No arrests have been made in any of these shootings. Speed may have been a factor in a deadly motorcycle crash in Milwaukee. Police say the bike struck a car near 60th and Fairmount last night. A passenger was killed. She was not wearing a helmet. The driver was injured but will be okay. Now, motorcyclists from across the city got a text alert about the crash and rushed to the scene. As bikers, we try to look out for one each other. We, we are big brother and sisterhood, so we try to look out for one each other. We try to come out and support. Show, show love to the family and everything. The driver of the car suffered minor injuries. Police are still investigating the crash. A house fire is under investigation on Milwaukee's north side. Smoke and flames caused heavy damage to the front porch of this home near 19th and Fenn. A sign in front of the home indicated it was for sale. A man is now in custody connected to a deadly crash near 76th and Silver Spring. Police say he was one of four men inside a car that ran a red light and then struck another vehicle and killed a man. After the crash, the men ran out from the scene. It's not clear if the suspect arrested was the driver. Decision 2016 now. Governor Walker ranks among the top of the field in the latest presidential straw poll. Potential voters cast ballots at the Southern Republican Leadership Conference in Oklahoma. Ben Carson took first with 25% of the vote. Governor Walker, as we mentioned, came in second with 20%, followed by Texas Senator Ted Cruz with 16%. This is the first major survey of the Republican presidential field in the South. Some holiday reminders to tell you about. Milwaukee City crews won't be doing any parking meter patrols until Tuesday. There's also no overnight parking enforcement. Also, you don't have to take out your garbage to the curb tonight. You can wait. Crews won't pick it up until Tuesday. Well, today's rain has delayed the Memorial Day race at the Slinger Super Speedway. The co-owner tells us, though, the race will go on tomorrow night. Hello again, everybody. I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Scott Steele in the Weather Center. Well, Sunday, just diametrically different than Saturday in this holiday weekend. At least we had one really good day because today started out okay with just a lot of clouds, but the rain rapidly rolling in. And in your weather headlines, looks like Memorial Day is going to be kind of a split as well. A soggy start on your Memorial Day Monday. It's going to be muggier as well with whipping winds, but I think the afternoon there's going to be some sunshine breaking through the clouds and your evening barbecue may get in without any rainfall whatsoever before more showers roll in for Monday night. Going into the record books on this date, 67 degrees, the high temperature at Milwaukee's Mitchell International. But the problem with that is it occurred at about 11 o'clock this morning, 51 the low. Then the rain rolled in and cooled the air considerably, so much of the day really just in the 50s. 68 and 49 are the normals this time of year. And the record set back in 1950, 90 degrees. 34, the record low, just above freezing back in 1963. Elsewhere, neighborhood high temperatures all across the area into the 60s, flirting with 70 in Fond du Lac before that rain rode in from the south to the north and cooled things down. 65 in Burlington, also in Lake Geneva. 63 in Waukesha and Watertown. Here's future forecast, our computer model, well ahead of the main surface warm front. We have this line of precipitation. This is the main culprit that produced all the wet weather around here during the day on Sunday. Showers and storms become far more scattered. I don't see anything severe, not enough atmospheric support for that, but we could hear a couple cracks of thunder. As we set future forecast in motion, that warm front lifts through the area as we go through our Monday, bringing us a break in the precipitation before this low pressure gets a little closer in our vicinity and brings in more moisture for Monday night and into Tuesday. A close in view to southeastern Wisconsin, showing the precipitation becoming far more scattered through the nighttime hours tonight and into Monday morning. And then look at this, sun breaking through the clouds into Monday afternoon. Traveling around the Badger State tomorrow, keep the umbrella handy as that rain diminishes toward the afternoon, but boy, it's going to turn very warm. Your storm team forecast for the overnight hours. Expect scattered periods of showers and perhaps a crack of thunder. It's going to be warm down to the middle 50s. For Monday, get ready for very windy, very warm and humid conditions with morning showers, perhaps a storm, but sun in the afternoon up to near 80. Your storm team for seven day forecast calling for more steady showers and storms on Tuesday, gradually drying out Wednesday, Thursday, the best day of the week. And I think our temperatures will remain in the 70s to near 80 degrees all week long.